Learning Construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, this is Ernie with Learning Construction here again with my good friend James Carrier. Uh, he's an special inspector, and uh, I want to take this uh, this uh, time uh, to show you guys a little more about rebar. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the uh, basic names on the river. Uh, we have a column over here and it's a good example of the uh, river that is used in some of the columns and it gives you a good opportunity to understand the names that we use. Okay, so we're here in the column over here and uh, I'm standing right here. What is the name of this? Stone? This is the mat uh, fat, uh, slab right now. Uh, it's top and the bottom layer and between the two slabs it's set up on 12 inch centers and there's rebar sitting in there at number six and then we have a number eight down for our upright for our column of support and we're using in that we're using uh, our clips and our stirrups in there this is a stabilizer to keep the bars in position and also to keep support of the bars in the boundaries of the pore As so you can, this one right here this is the tie right? that's the tie and this one right here will be called the stirrup. That's the stirrup. The, the, the structural drawings will show the angles and the percentage and the, and the measurement for the angles. They'll call for a 15 or 20 or 60 or 90 degree angle. It'll also call for the bends on the on the size of the bars. And it'll also call for the location of the stirrup as they're located on each area by elevation and all by, by width. So the stirrups create the boundary and the boundary from there we have our clearances for the wall uh, if this looks like it's like a 24 inch wall so we're looking at 18 inch outside boundary two inch clearance around the outside of the unit so that we have a uh, a nice good solid column I'm gonna elevate it up a little bit to show you all the way up give you an idea and as this column is set up at the top we have the the settings for the uh, as the bottom and then the top is set up for the, the slab on deck above so that we can turn right into the slab on deck as you go up and you can see where we can tie into the slab and continue the, uh, the support of this column. Okay, it's going to be a single floor up on this support. Some supports are multiple floors but this is a single. Okay, you can see where it's tied rebar. You can see the clearances around, a three inch clearance on bar to dirt. Is requirements by the code. This is all under ICC uh, 2010 code and uh, looks very nice. The, the pit is clean. The areas are, are, are defined. You have your defined, you have your dobies on the bottom showing the dobies, the uh, three inch dobies to keep the elevation off of the bottom. If this pit was inside of a, uh, a wood uh, construction, we have one and a half inch clearances, but we're in dirt, so we have three. I think that covers everything. We have a little bit of a stabilizer. These little hook bars you see in there, they're elevation bars to keep the spacing between the two units. And I see that uh, all the, the heat tags have been taken off and it's ready for pour. And that's it guys. I hope you guys learned something about uh, the reward work. And uh, once again, thank you for watching and don't forget to check learningconstruction.com. Thank you.